The government on Wednesday said it remains unclear when it will be able to reopen the Chedijagan and Eugene F. Karai International Airports for commercial flights. The airports were closed in March to combat the spread of the coronavirus. Public Works Minister Juan Egel, during a virtual press conference, said as a result of other airports around the region remaining closed, commercial airlines have not yet applied to recommence regular flights. As it relates to the reopening of the airport, there are a number of things that we have to consider. The commercial airlines have not yet said they are ready to start commercial operations. What we have currently are applications for charters. He said in addition to systems put in place by the previous administration, the PPP government will be instituting COVID-19 rapid testing at the airport and is also purchasing mist tunnels to sanitize persons as they move towards immigration. But like I said, we are buying the mist towels, tunnels, sorry. We are putting in place the possibility of rapid testing with a private sector initiative on arrival at the airport. We are putting in all of the international rec recommended WHO PAHO protocols for safe and sanitized movement within our airports. So it's a matter of us getting prepared and we believe two weeks based upon what I'm being told, everything on our side would be ready. In the meantime, the National COVID-19 Task Force, headed by Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony, has granted approval for repatriation flights in and out of Guyana from Miami and New York for September and October. Minister Edgel said negotiations are ongoing with Caribbean Airlines and WestJet for the approval of chartered flights from Canada. Since the closure of the airports, hundreds of persons were repatriated from United States, Canada, Barbados, Trinidad and Cuba, among others. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.